are you? But the machine works. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We could do that. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, are we going to try it again? Possibly. Did we get it? Popped out. Did it? It did. Yeah. All right. Oh, so we're good. We're good. Oh, well, All right. I clicked so I, it again. So everyone, everyone is uh, present with obviously Whatever the exception of, of Mayor Mike Wade. So I am sitting in, in his stead this evening. Um, if everybody will rise, I don't see anybody. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. There we go. Young man in scout apparel. Come on down. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Undercover. <laughs> undercover. <laughs> well, come on down. We're going to have you all lead us that's, in the uh, pledge of allegiance. Are you guys undercover? That's Explorer Scout. That's, no? Yeah, that's a oh, that's a oh, all right. right under the bus. So we're going to turn around. Flags here. And then the floor will be yours if you all just want to start. And everybody will follow you in the pledge. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you all coming down and doing that. All right. Next up is uh, special presentations, which, Michelle, I don't believe we have any this evening. I know we've got other presentations. Momentito. And I know uh, Dennis had said that he was not going to uh, be able to uh, make it for the Chamber of Commerce updates, which brings us to the Downtown Business Alliance folks. So I don't know if we we're getting double dip tonight or Shelly, is it just your show? <laughs> All right. I can tell you the wine walk last Friday night was buzzing downtown. So kudos to the Chamber of Commerce, and it looked like a great event. Um, I, I I was in observation mode. I wasn't walking. I was sitting. I was wine sitting instead of wine walking. <laughs> um, but it was great. There was so many people downtown. So I don't know if any of you were there, but it was. I was working. So kudos to the Chamber for that. That great event last weekend. Um, thank you. Good, uh, good evening, everyone. Town Council, thank you for having me. Uh, I have a few things just to update you on. Uh, first, uh, first Friday Art Walk under the lights is this Friday, October 6th, from 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, we had a fabulous uh, First Friday Art Walk last month in September with um, a teen focus. All of the artists were teens from our town of Parker, quite a few from Ponderosa High School, as well as at least a handful, four or five, from Legend High School. So we hope to grow on that and have um, another teen-focused art walk as well. But if you don't have plans for Friday night and you'd like to come uh, enjoy this free community event, uh, it starts at Vines with complimentary wine tasting from 4 to 5, and then the art walk from 5 to 8, 8 p.m. right along Main Street, and we have about 15 artists that will be attending again. And so please, please join that. Um, <clears throat> I also wanted, on behalf of the DBA, wanted to bring up the lights again. Everyone loves the lights, as I've mentioned before, but uh, um, as a Downtown Business Alliance, each meeting we have, uh, business owners from other buildings, from Parker Station, from Victorian Peaks, are asking and striving for us to find some way to do something fun that kind of connects the, the whole Main Street, maybe down Pikes Peak. Uh, my understanding is that lights can't, as, as I proposed, lights can't go on living trees uh, on a permanent basis because they grow. and. And it, you know, I, that all makes sense. Uh, it was a great thought at the beginning, but um, so a couple ideas we wanted to throw out to the town of Parker. We have two really ama amazing mediums, that medians that are in the on Main Street with the black metal fencing. Uh, one basically by O'Brien Park, the other one right in front of uh, Parker Station. Could we light up all that black fencing um, at night? throughout the year. So that would be a solution for tying lights that draw, draws you know, people's eyes down to you know, further down on Main Street. And then the Victorian Peaks building, 
the owners and business owner, the owner of the building and business owners, um, wanted to do something unique for them, you know, for that area as well. And is it is it possible that the town might be interested or willing to invest in more of the the signature lighting, the lights, you know, the round globes, um, put them across the street. Um, maybe a couple more you know, going down from Main Street to so the visual draw and it's kind of our Parker signature uh, obviously it's right up there um, so more a few more of these lights that really that becomes their focal point of Victorian Peaks and I think that's a really good solution it could light up that whole you know Pikes Peak Street as well and have it be its own personality that goes down that street so there's a couple solutions that uh, that the businesses were looking to have help with from the town of Parker for your consideration and we appreciate that um, Last, I wanted to let everybody know we had uh, the American Cancer, this is not the DBA, but there was a lot of uh, Downtown Business Alliance people involved with the American Cancer Society Relay for Life event that was held at O'Brien Park. And so excited to say that we raised um, over $65,000. Wow. And wow. so it was a great event, great day. Um, very rewarding, a very touching day, but 98% uh, of the money that's raised goes toward um, support and research. So unlike a lot of some nonprofits where the percentage is a little different, um, ACS has 98% of their, their dollars go towards support and research. So um, great event. They loved being, the, the consensus, I've already seen survey results today, loved being in O'Brien Park, loved that small town feeling of having an event, a relay like that, right in the heart of Parker. And so I, I'm sure you'll be hearing from the, uh, from the American Cancer Society that they would like to have that opportunity again at the park next year and have this become uh, Parker's Relay for Life event on an annual basis at O'Brien Park. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions for Shelley? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you ma'am. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, with that, um, we will open up the, uh, the floor for public comment. These are for items that are not on the agenda this evening. You do have a three minute time limit and no action will be taken on these items. Do we have anybody here for just general public comment? For the items that are on the agenda, they'll have their own uh, time for public comment then. Seeing none, we will close public comment at 7-Eleven, move on to reports, items, and comments from mayor and council. Amy, we'll start with you, ma'am. I had my monthly chamber board of directors uh, meeting a few weeks ago and basically that is a time for me to go in meet with the board and just provide an update on some of the highlights of activity uh, different topics of interest that are going on throughout the town we also had met with the um, group basi uh, basically discussing economic development strate strategic um, topics as far as what we would like to see what we hear from the community and uh, some of those will be compiled and then brought back to us with a to establish a plan for what we'll do with our economic development department uh, we also attended the Metro Home Builders political forum it was very informative and we had a council budget retreat last week Mr. Rivero um, also attended the budget retreat and uh, had the honor of emceeing the Douglas County Youth Initiative down at the state capitol on Monday, um, all day Monday from uh, 9 a.m. till about 4.30 p.m. Um, we had uh, 130 um, Douglas, uh, Douglas County High School students from uh, all the different high schools in the county and uh, they uh, debated uh, eight different topics and came up with resolutions uh, to get through two different councils and different boards and uh, very proud um, awesome group, great format this year. Um, we had a little fiscal exercise uh, to start the, uh, the Congress off. They were given a dollar and they had to, to budget their dollar to the state budget. And uh, they, they split it out to, you know, 10 cents here, 10 cents there and spread it out very well. And then when they come to find out that no, actually roads take this much and schools take this much and you have this small little penny left over, um, they, were, they were quite shocked, but it was, it was nice, to, nice to have. And then we finished the day with uh, uh, George Brocker uh, speaking to them and uh, talking to them about, uh, about all the issues that face them and, and, and that are facing the county. And I uh, thought it was a very, very, very successful day. So Good. Excellent. Renee. So in addition to some of the things that have already been spoken about, um, I attended the Women's Forum at Barnett um, Brewery. Always like going to a brewery. 
Um, we had our Parker Arts Volunteer Dinner. That was very nice. A liaison meeting for PRAC. And just tonight, a bunch of us attended the a schoolhouse renovation tour. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, Debbie. Sir. Um, like most everyone else, um, I was at the budget retreat. And you know how much I love budgets. So that was very um, an invigorating day. I uh, also attended the Parker Arts uh, Volunteer uh, Dinner in appreciation of uh, our, our Pace Center and the things that occur there at the schoolhouse uh, could not occur without all the volunteers that we have throughout our community. They are just an integral part of, of what happens and uh, they and our staff uh, do an excellent job of working together. I also attended the Home Builders Political Forum. Uh, there, were, there was opportunity for garnering information and maybe dispelling some misinformation that always uh, floats around. Um, I, the Douglas County Housing Authority met last week. Uh, they are working uh, with uh, the, the property or the, the developer uh, still looking for another component someplace here in the uh, in the Parker area they have um, a couple of places that they've looked at and that may or may not work uh, the, uh, the only disheartening thing that was announced that day was by one of the representatives there and she happens to be from Lone Tree that the fresh heart fresh harvest food bank is closing as of October 31st. They'll be taking donations there until um, through the end of September, which you know, was, you know, what, three days ago? Uh, and no, there's not a real explanation other than the most that we could garner is that perhaps that particular model uh, just did not work out. They're a part of the uh, wish list network uh, because they were always busy that may uh, just for us to keep in mind that may put more pressure on some of the other organizations that are in our in our Douglas County community so just just keep that in mind and I think that's all super thank you John thank you sir um, September 15th I attended uh, the capstone to the Metro Denver Economic Development Corporation Site Selectors Conference. Uh, Can you say that again? <laughs> I cannot, but uh, thank you very much. Um, so it was, a, it was a fantastic event. Uh, great to hear some insight on what these people are looking for in terms of sites, in terms of um, collaboration. Um, when, when they do have major campuses uh, that are up for consideration to, to relocate, uh, they, they did mention Denver and the Denver area is a very favorable area. Uh, so again, uh, good news. Um, and in light of the events uh, last night, uh, our own Mayor Wade is um, asking everyone to donate blood. Uh, so if anybody can get out there and donate blood, it would be greatly appreciated. We've got a great bond fee center here, uh, here in Parker. So if, uh, if you're eligible, please get out and give blood. Thank you, sir. And the only thing I'm going to add um, to, uh, to the litany of things going on is uh, I do serve as liaison to E470. Obviously, we've had the road widening project going on from here up to Quincy Road, and that should wrap up by the end of the month, uh, which would be ahead of schedule and under budget, which is always fun. Um, it's, a, it's sort of interesting sitting up here in, the, in, in a form of government, and, and I think as the private sector, there are certain things we might do better. But I'll, I'll leave that open to interpretation. Um, with that being said, uh, next item is our consent agenda. These are items that are considered to be routine and will be enacted with one motion and one vote. Um, Council, I would need a motion and a second on items 7B through 7J. So moved. Second. Got a motion from Josh and a second from Amy. Uh, Council, please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Uh, next item is our town administrator's report. And Michelle, anything to add or, or uh, that you need to let I us know I think you about? guys covered it. I was just going to mention the budget retreat. I think it was a very good discussion and a lot was accomplished there. But you guys covered most of that already. So I don't have anything else to add. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, next item is no, item number nine. Um, this is the trails at Crowfoot sketch or rezoning sketch and preliminary plan. 
It's a bill for an ordinance to amend the Hess Ranch Development Plan and Guide pursuant to the Town of Parker Land Development Ordinance, and amending the zoning ordinance and map to conform therewith. And I don't, Jim, are we? A mayor pro tem, the request Respectful. is to continue this item to a uh, date uncertain. Uh, the motion is in your packet. So moved. Second. Got a motion, uh, excuse me, the motion is to uh, move it to a date uncertain. I will, I have a motion from Renee and a second from Amy. Council, please vote. Josh, is and your roof up? I'm sorry? Is his roof up? It's pouring. No, I know I heard. No. Um, for, our, for our folks in the audience, when, when somebody has made a, a request to have an item on and it needs to be continued, they're not ready to present or there might be something that they're waiting for, they can ask for it to be moved to a date certain, which means we would say we expect them to reappear as of this particular date, or in this case, it's a date uncertain, meaning they, they plan to bring it back before the council. They're just not 100% sure when that might occur. So that's kind of the, the difference there. Um, next item is item number 10. Uh, that is ordinance number 5.34.2 on second reading, a bill for an ordinance to amend section 10.01.02A of the Parker Municipal Code concerning removal of snow and ice from sidewalks. Mr. Hudson. Snow and ice. Good evening, Mary. We don't need to use those terms. And sidewalks. It, and you can feel uh, the, 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 the uh, touch of fall in the air. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I heard that they closed I-70 last night. Easy. So Easy. It's, it's coming. So um, before you, you have an, uh, a bill for an ordinance to amend a, a section of the uh, code, 10.01.02, Zero, and uh, this has to do with an update in our code to reflect some challenges we've had with enforcement of uh, snow and ice uh, removal on sidewalks. Um, the first part of this change has to do with the addition of a tract of land from the definition of any building or lot of land. We have a significant amount of tracts of land that are landscaping tracts that happen along roads. Um, this has been used as an excuse. I'm not going to say an excuse, but a answer to why they were not doing snow removal because it was in a tract of land and not a lot of land. So this is a, a change to the code to tighten that up. Uh, going on, we've also added uh, a paved sidewalk. We've added to that a paved trail. We've run into this in the past where uh, individuals say, well, that's not a sidewalk. That is a trail. So we're tightening this section of the code as well. And the last thing, the last part of this change has to do with the term of budding. The term of budding as used herein shall includes but not limited to paved sidewalks and paved trails that are located within or adjacent to tracts of land that are part of a planned development and are used to connect neighborhoods within a planned development, including at that portion of paved sidewalk or paved trails that cross public right-of-ways, whether at grade or grade separated. So we've had issues with internal sidewalks within tracks in subdivisions, and also people uh, taking responsibility for crossing things that don't necessarily abut, but across public right-of-ways, such as pedestrian underpasses and pedestrian overpasses. And this will further tighten this part of the code as well. With that, I'll answer any questions you might have. Thank you, sir. Any questions for Chris? No. Thank you, sir. With that, I will open it up uh, for public comment on this side. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I thought I heard somebody say something. Was, Sorry. Um, with that, I'll open it up for public comment at 7.22 p.m. Anybody wishing to comment on this item? Don't everybody move all at once. With that, we'll close public comment at 7.22. Move, and uh, I would need any further questions from council or we would need a motion, please. I move to approve ordinance number 5.32.4 on second reading. Second. Got a motion from Amy and a second from Debbie. Council, please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Next up is our, our last item, item number 11. Chris, you just stay at the podium there. Sir, uh, it's ordinance number 9.204.2 on second reading. It's a bill for an ordinance to approve the second amendment to the snow removal intergovernmental agreement by and between the town of Parker and the commissioners of Douglas County. Mr. Hudson. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, tonight you have a second amendment on a snow, uh, snow removal IGA with Douglas County. First, uh, IGA was actually approved in 2013. It's a five-year IGA. It'll be coming up for renewal in uh, next year in 2018. Mm -hmm. There was an amendment in 2014. And what this IGA did is it spelled out roads that we may have had a handshake agreement on for years where the town might be snow plowing Douglas County roads or vice versa. Well, recently, 
um, Cottonwood Drive got opened up between Chambers and Jordan Road, which changed the nature of the northeast quadrant of the town, or excuse me, northwest quadrant of the town, because uh, we used to plow Aventura Parkway to get to Com Park. Well, we no longer have to do that. Aventura Parkway is a Douglas County roadway. It's being removed from the list. That is the, the, one of the big changes for uh, this amendment. And the second one has to do with Bluegrass Circle and the Cottonwood subdivision. About 70% of that road is actually owned and maintained by Douglas County, and the town has 30% of it. We worked it out where the county's doing the majority of the road. They're going to do the remainder of the road, the last 30%. So that is the last amendment of this. Uh, previously, the town had done a lot more snow plowing than we'd gotten in return from Douglas County. This, uh, this amendment here brings us a lot closer. We're within about 15% of each other now, with the town providing slightly more lane miles of plowing than when we, we, we received from Douglas County. But it's a lot more equitable than it has been in the past. And with that, I'll answer any questions that you might have on this uh, intergovernmental agreement amend amendment. Any questions for Chris? The only thing I remember is doing the ride along and we're going up Pine Drive and we just sort of kept going past, you know, Parker Core Knowledge and whatnot. I'm like, I think we're going too far. He said, no, no, we, instead of just stopping right there and making a U-turn past, just past the church, uh, we have uh, these agreements in place. Make, first of all, it makes things go much faster. It, it makes things everyone. go much faster, but it also helps uh, decrease that governmental waste. And that's one of my pet peeves is we'll be driving plows on a road that actually to get somewhere else that belongs to another entity, Lift why don't plow. we plow it as we go? <laughs> and uh, that's why we have these agreements like this is to, again, reduce that governmental waste. Here, here. Yay. Well, excellent. Well, with that, um, we will open up uh, public comment on this item at 725 p.m. If there's anybody wishing to come down and, and address council on this item. Seeing absolutely no one moving a muscle did not be misinterpreted in any way. Um, <laughs> I will, uh, I will ask for any further questions or comments from council or a motion, please. I move to approve ordinance number 9.204.2 on second reading. Second. Got a motion from Josh and a second from John. Council, please vote. Motion passes unanimously. And with that, our very brief agenda is concluded for the evening. I will adjourn the meeting at 726. Thanks, y'all. Good job, John. And, and